Team Bella. I'm Miranda, Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan, and I'm here with another edition of Sing It With Me Now. It's Nietzsche. It's Nietzsche. It's Nietzsche Saturday. Hey, it's Nietzsche. It's Nietzsche. It's Nietzsche Saturday. Hello and happy Saturday, everybody. I am here with another positive body image and plan with me. So I just want to make it clear I'm still living in that same big body. Uh, <laughs> that uh, I had last week. So I wanna tell you guys a story how I'm saying that I'm, I'm still in the same big body and that's not to be offensive, but definitely to live my truth. I'm not skinny, so I'm a big sexy girl and I'm gonna live that. But, um, you know, several years, when I say several years, I'm gonna say about 19 years ago, 20 years ago, um, I was working at this job and it was a group of us together and there was some guys in the group, there's typically guys in any hangout group, right? <laughs> at work and so they were having this conversation about the ladies in the group and they were likening us to cars and i was thinking in my head you remind me of my jeep i want to ride it like that's what i was thinking but he was like no so he was like one of the girls she was like thin young vibrant i was young at the time too but he said that she was like uh convertible and there was a lady that was kind of frumpy in the group she was like a, a mom van and I was like you know and he's telling everybody you know putting girls in all these characteristics as cars and yeah it could have been kind of chauvinistic but for the purposes of this video he told me that I was like a fine luxury SUV I'm gonna say I, I like fine, I like luxury. And he's like, there's nothing wrong with a woman with a little meat on her bones. So if you have a little meat on your bones, it's okay. You're still cute, okay? Bella, I mean, Team Bella means that you guys are all beautiful. So, yes. Um, so this week we are talking about the apple body shape. And I really wish I had an apple, or maybe I'll figure out how to put an apple right here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna figure out how to put an apple right here in my hand. So let's talk about some of the characteristics of the apple body shape. So your bust and your shoulders and your waist are larger than your hips. So you carry all your weight up top. You normally have, um, your hips will be the smallest, so up to 5% smaller than your bust and your shoulders. Um, and I'm looking down because I have notes like sitting down towards on my lap here. Um, something else that I wanted to share about the, um, the apple body shape. All right. So some of the things that you would want to do for an apple body shape, you know how like each week I try to tell you like what areas you need to, um, to work on. So you need to look for clothing that have that, that are slightly fitted, um, Keep the details of the bust above the bust. So your detail needs to be on your neckline or below the hip line. So lower than your hips. Your best assets are your legs. Girl, if you're an apple, you better work them legs. You better work them because you have great legs. Um, your best pieces are dresses and tops that skim past your midsection and nip you right below your waist. Um, low neck lines, so you want to go for the V-neck. Um, so we are looking for hem lines on your skirts and your dresses that have details, anything to draw attention to your legs. Um, flared or boot cut or straight pants in terms of like your jeans and your pants. And um, in terms of the length that's most flattering, um, you want to go right above your knee, knee and calf length skirts. So that midi, um, a midi, dress or skirt is a great option for you. You don't want to have anything with excessive details around your bust or your stomach. Um, you don't wanna wear skinny pants, okay? What happens when you wear skinny or tapered pants and you're apple shape is that they throw off your proportion and make you look even heavier on the top. So don't go for mini skirts either because they can make or highlight your midsection and make you look square. And it take you to the, the sponge Barbara that we talked about. Embrace your shape. And that's what these last couple of Nietzsche Saturdays have been about. Like we have to love who we are once again in the moment. 
And in the moment, I have to love this size 16 that I am. I got to love her, you know, and maybe my size 16 doesn't look like your size 16. And that's absolutely OK. We're all different. We are all unique. But embrace and love the things about you that are good. And for the apple, girl, you better work them legs. OK. All right. So let's jump into the plan with me. I will tell you another seemingly very unproductive week. Um, in terms of moving, I am struggling to get back on my train and that's the positive train of, you know, my move goals right now. It's move goals. I have to get myself to moving. Um, so hopefully this week I can turn up the heat and turn on the fire for myself because I'm not motivated. And I mean, I have to live my truth and that's my truth is that I'm not motivated um, I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I'll tell you why. I am not motivated because literally work is sucking the life out of me. Let me just give it to you a hundred because I don't know how else to be. Like it is literally sucking, sucking the life out of me. When you get up at eight o'clock in the morning and you log off at nine, ten o'clock at night and you don't take breaks and you don't take lunches, it can be exhausting. So I, I, I need every minute of sleep that I could get because by the time I wind down, I, I still have a husband and a household to maintain. So those wifely duties of making sure that he eats when he comes in or get something ordered or, you know, whatever that looks like, spend a little time with him because I got to spend some time with him. You know, we do have the same last name. It's time to go to bed and you got to shower and then you got to wind down and you got to get in the mindset. You don't go to right to sleep right away. So I cling to really needing that rest and I find myself to be tired and to find out that when I was sick last week, it was a flare up. So it's sometimes hard to come back from that for me, um, especially when I'm flared. But one thing that I will not do is beat myself down I'm always going to give myself grace and if you're beating yourself down right now I suggest you embrace the same thing because if you don't love you who's gonna love you I love me and it's okay you know I will get back on the wagon I will I'm going to really try to push myself next week. That's my truth. And I hope you enjoy the plan with me. So let's jump into the plan with me. Um, the stickers that I have today came from multiple places. So colorful boxes, the um, little bloom box, um, functional stickers, the blush Nike came from this fabulously creative uh, sticker books, pretty plan sticker book. And I thought they would go great on here. And of course, y'all know. I have colorful boxes like always. So let's, I'm gonna hold this one because I wanna put the gold sticker down first. And I wanna put this little um, cardio and little heart there. Now I want to also just probably bring the shoe like right there. And then because we wanna be happy doing this, I'm gonna put a happy sticker right here. More like right here. So I'm really loving this color scheme. It is so cute. Okay. And we are gonna use black here from colorful boxes and then this important one will come here. Kind of just framing that a little bit. And then I want this plan to go here. Very good. And then I found these black and gold smiley faces also in that book from the little bloom box and I want to put that here. All right, and then next, we're gonna come in. Yeah, I don't know what these little tiny black marks is like, I and it's not bleeding through from the other side. So I don't know. Um, I will share with you guys in just a minute my week last week because I told you it was trash. It really was, it, that's not an exaggeration at all. Okay. 
Okay, so, and if you're wondering why that Saturday is not filled out, today is Saturday and it's not over. All right, let's go ahead and throw our little shoe down here on the bottom. Okay, and then I wanna take this Today sticker and I wanna kinda layer it down this way. All right, then here on the bottom, the plan is throw the little heart, kind of changing that up a little bit. And we're gonna place this here. And that important is super crooked. And then I have a to-do sticker here. So we're gonna put that to-do kind of like right here. And we're going to fix the important just so we can straighten that up just a little bit. This is super crooked. Okay, this today also needs to be straightened. Okay. All right. Now, popping onto this side, we're gonna move things a little bit differently. So we still have our gold here. But this time I want the sneaker to go on top, kind of opposite of what we did on that other side. So we're gonna put our sneaker up here and we're gonna put our cardio down here. All right. Then the next one, we're going to move this one here. And instead of having everything on this side, it's gonna be Well, actually it's gonna still be on this side, but it's gonna be just a little bit different. I'm looking for my undo. Y'all, I'm no longer fighting with stickers, trying to bring them up. They're gonna just get the undo treatment right off gate. All right, just wanna bring this over a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. All right. We're gonna put this today down here at the bottom, underneath here. And this today will go up here so that we can kind of balance off what we're doing on the other one. Um, So this one, for sure, I want the shoe to be up top, but on this side. And I'm gonna fix that. All right, so for down there on the bottom, I have this total layered situation where we have a colorful box. I use the alphabet books book to get in. And this is crooked and that's why I'm peeling this up. And I wanna move the shoe back just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna put our shoe. It's gonna go here. And then this goals will go right here. Well, okay, that I appreciate, that I like. I have another sticker that I think I can use here for focus. All right, 
and then just want to straighten this. I think I may. And I feel like the today can still go on here. All right. And that prevents me from having to stick that sticker back in my book. So that is definitely our spread. And I love the way it came together. But in the spirit of transparency, I wanted to show you the trash week I had last week. I didn't wear my watch um, for very long. I only had 252 steps on Monday. Didn't wear my watch at all on Tuesday. On Wednesday, had a better day, 2139. Thursday was the, is the best day of the week. It was 3477. I wore the watch yesterday, which was Friday for a half day for 1260. So, ugh. Well, if you enjoyed the video, make sure that uh, you remember to do the three things, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next Nietzsche Saturday. Ciao, Bella.